Okay, I have a list of my employees. It's not a long list. There's only 111 names on it. But they are listed in columns by their first name, last name, date of hire, position, store number, and hourly rate. We're going to go ahead and we are going to use the auto filter so that we can hide some of these names, hide some of this data, so that we can focus on smaller groups of it, depending on what we want to filter out. To do that, we're going to use the filter. Okay, I said it. We're going to go up here to the sort and filter button. We're going to give a click. We are going to choose the filter option here, and it doesn't matter what cell we have selected in our list here. Let's go back, choose filter, because what it's going to do is put these little drop down arrows on our header row. And when I go ahead and select them, now let's say that I want to filter out all the data except the data for one particular store. So I'm going to go to the store filter, select that drop down, and here you'll see I have a list of all of the items in that column. All of these boxes are checked, which means no data is hidden. I can see all of it in this worksheet right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the little box here, the little checkbox that says select all that'll go ahead and uncheck everything for me. If I check it again, it'll check them all. But I'm going to go ahead and uncheck everything because I don't want to see them all. I want to just see the data for one particular store. And I'm going to choose this one, 60159. And when I choose OK, you see that it hid all of the other data in that worksheet except for everybody who works in the store 60159. So now I can more closely focus on this group. Let's say that I want to go ahead and see the information for two stores. All right, let's say 60159 and uh, how about 60626. I can go ahead and select both of those. And when I choose OK, it hides everything except the data about those two stores. And if I want to go back to one, I simply have to go back and uncheck the one I don't want. Now, what if I want to go ahead and, within this group, filter out more data? Let's say that I want to filter out everything except uh, the sales associates. I want to find out who are sales associates at that store. So I will go up to the position filter, the drop down. I'm going to uncheck select all. And I will choose Sales Associate, click OK, and now it shows me simply the sales associates that work in that store. And I can go ahead, I could turn on a filter in every one of these. I could filter this list down so that there was nothing left. Of course, that kind of defeats the purpose, but uh, you'll see it's a good way to go ahead and focus in on smaller groups of data. And you know that there's a filter on a, in a particular column when this symbol has changed. It's no longer simply this down arrow. It now is, and you may be sitting there thinking, what is that symbol? But if you look at it up here a little bit closer, it's a funnel. Because we're funneling this data through this filter. Okay, now I want to turn these filters off. Well, there's a couple of ways I can do it. I can go ahead, select that filter, and choose clear filter from position and you see it turns that filter off or I can go here and simply click on the select all button again all of my check boxes are checked and I can choose OK and all of my data is visible again alright and that's it for the auto filter thanks we'll see you next time Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.